off? Make sure you play a lot! Good morning, Princess. I trust you are awake. This morning you have your arithmetic and history lessons, and the afternoon is reserved for etiquette practice. Princess? Away again, I see. Such a 
troublesome child. I have a good idea where she's run off to. I fear Lord Dessier will be no less irritated than last time. I 
feel like something's gone terribly wrong here. to learn, and whether you're truly devoted to the art of alchemy. I see. But is it really that easy to become an alchemist? <laughs> of course, becoming a full-fledged alchemist takes much longer. But you've just taken your first step. Ah, so it's really not so simple, huh? But I'm an alchemist now. Everyone's gonna go nuts when they find out. Congratulations! Thanks! I want to become a truly magnificent alchemist like you, Miss Toltree! Miss... <laughs> Do you really have to call me Miss Toltree? But Miss Toltree is Miss Toltree, Miss Toltree! Really understanding. He's pretty much always 
okay with whatever I decide to do. If you say so. Anyway, let's begin today's lesson by reviewing the basics of alchemy. Okay! I'll do whatever it takes to become the world's most brilliant alchemist! Oh, just a second. I think someone's here. some stuffy formal setting, you said you'd call me by name, remember? Hmm? But this is Miss Totori's workshop. And? Miss Totori's just my teacher, so it's okay. Come on, say it. Very well. Good, that's better. Princess just sounds too... with gathering all the necessary ingredient materials. Without these, synthesis is impossible. You'll have to search far and wide for your materials, sometimes traveling to unknown lands. It's a crucial job. Whoa, that sounds great! I want to do that! Now hold on just a second. You're not thinking of leaving town, are you? Out of the question! Outside town is crawling with monsters. 
they might not be all that strong, but... Well, that's perfect. Courage is another important part of becoming an alchemist. Right, Miss Totri? Courage and recklessness are two very different things, Meruru. But I see you've already made up your mind. Miss Totori, please say something. Don't you think this is all happening too quickly for her? Well, gathering materials is a basic skill, so I'd like her to learn. Moyuri Forest is right nearby. See? Even Miss Totori agrees. Plus, we used to go there all the time. There's nothing dangerous about it. If you insist, but only on one condition. I will accompany you myself. What? But I mean, there's nothing for you to even do out there. So much the better. You can protect me from monsters, and I'll protect you from your own over-eagerness. Mm, fine. I guess that's okay. All right, Miss Totori, we're off. Be safe out there. Oh, and take these. They'll come in handy if you get into any trouble. Oh, thanks a bunch. Okay, we better scram before Rufus shows up. Let's go!
thought. I can't wait to find some incredible materials and knock Miss Tulchery's frilly little socks off. Welcome back, Princess. I've been waiting for you. Uh, oh, oh, uh, well, you see, Rufus, I just... Arithmetic and history in the morning, etiquette in the afternoon. I would like to ask why you neglected your duties in favor of leaving town. Later, in front of Lord Dessier. Young lady, you promised you would stop sneaking out of the castle. Everyone has been worried sick about you. I'm really sorry, and you can lecture me all you want later. But first, I have a favor to ask. No! But, but you haven't heard what it is yet. Your favors are consistently absurd. For your sake, I hope it's nothing as ridiculous as wanting to become a street performer or some such nonsense. Of course it's not something so silly. I want to become an alchemist. Oh, is that all? Well, in that case... What? An alchemist? Yep, it's okay, right? Absolutely not. Out of all possible... Why an alchemist? No, I forbid you. How come? You don't think it's a great idea? 
We have already welcomed a first-class alchemist to our land. This totary can fulfill all our alchemy needs. And more importantly, as the royal princess, you have your own duties to attend to. What duties? Our kingdom is going to be history once we merge with Ireland anyway, isn't it? Who cares if I take some time out to do a little alchemy? Our union with Ireland is still five years hence. Until then, we must each fulfill our royal obligations. Royal obligations? Like what? Reading stupid history books and practicing dumb, boring etiquette? You must learn to protect and aid the development of your land to guide your people toward peace and prosperity. Absolutely right. Born into the royal family as we were, such is our burden to bear. Then why haven't we seen any sign of development? Are you sure you've been doing your job as king? Enough squabbling. Regardless, I will not approve of you becoming an alchemist. Do I make myself clear? Fine! Whatever you say, you... you big... poopy head! P poopy head? Hey, Veraru! I'm not finished! Come back here! That child never ceases to surprise me. Now she wants to be an alchemist. However, this time is no joke, I fear. She seemed surprisingly serious. You're right. She was certainly different from before. What am I supposed to do with her? Your Majesty, I have a suggestion that may allow us to both fulfill her wish and allay your worries. gatekeeping much longer if I keep letting the princess sneak out. Aren't you ever gonna settle down? I hope all this rampaging around isn't causing my brother too many headaches. Uh, I'm not rampaging around. I mean, sure, maybe I've caused some trouble here and there, but... Huh, at least you can admit that much. But unlike you, he's really busy. So try not to be too much of a pain. I know. I'll try to keep that in mind. Anyway, where are you off to looking all dazed and confused? Hmm? Oh, well that's... undecided. Why don't we head to Miss Totori's workshop for now? Oh, good idea! Maybe Miss Totori can give me some advice. Alright, Lyas, see you later! What? Hey, hold on! She never listens to me. Well... At least I know where she's going. But still, what kind of trouble has she gotten herself into this time? I hope it doesn't get out of hand. Oh, welcome back, Meruru. Were you able to gather up all your ingredients? Well, the thing is, I've kind of hit a little snag. Sure. I just managed to take the first step in becoming your alchemist. 
known as the Princess. But at this rate, my lifelong dream of seeing the world beyond Arles as a real alchemist will never come true. So that's your true goal, is it? I can't say I'm surprised. You've always been a bit obsessed with the outside world. And that's why I officially refuse to leave this workshop until Dad comes to his senses. Are you sure you want to put that kind of stress on Miss Toldery? Oh, don't worry about me. Meruru is free to use the workshop whenever she wants. But growing as an alchemist is going to be very difficult without your father's approval. You're right about that. What can I do to change his mind? Why don't you try showing him how alchemy can help in the development of the kingdom? Oh! Developing the kingdom! That's brilliant! So, how do I do that? Hmm, good question. I'm not sure I can help you there. To aid in the kingdom's development. Oh, maybe we should talk to Mr. Rufus about that. He's more familiar with our I'd just be asking for another Stone Cold Lecture. <laughs> You're really just no good at dealing with him, huh? Fine. I'll go and talk to him myself tomorrow. But you two must be exhausted from your trip outside. Stay here tonight and we can start fresh in the morning. Okay, let's get this over with. 